All right, so I just got the lure. This little rooster tail is supposed to be what's gonna work. Now, what we're going for today, hopefully we'll catch one. I'll, I'll tell you what it is when we catch one. Blake's been doing the work. We've talked about catching this fish a couple years ago, or a year ago at least, and then he's put in the work. He says this is the spot where it's at. We're gonna take this little rooster tail, catch a fish that most people probably don't even know are in Georgia. And I guarantee you, 99% of the people that drive over this road where this creek's at don't know this fish lives in here. So hopefully we're gonna go in there and get them. I really wanna get one of these fish. They're really cool. So uh, let's get to it. All right, I got my little rod and I got, I do have a swivel. So I got a little barrel swivel I'm gonna put. Um, if I do, if I know I'm planning on using a rooster tail, I will put a, some kind of swivel or something. And the water is gonna be kind of dingy. So I don't think it's gonna matter to the fish. That's why we're using a bright colored one. This brighter color is really supposed to help with these fish. Okay, so yeah, we're pull off on the side of the road. Got this little ditch. I fished this last year and we caught a bunch of different little fish. Well, today we're going for one that I didn't even know lived in here. But also there's really snaky and there's possibility of alligators in here. And a lot of snakes. And there's a big old leopard frog. I think that's his. Oh, he jumped away. All right, there's definitely movement already. I see a bunch of little bitty fish and a little, oh man, there's all kinds of little fish in here. What are those things? This place is loaded. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, it came off. I don't know what that was. I think it was a bass. I mean, we're going to, we'll hopefully catch a few bass, but whenever we catch the uh, desired fish, I'll let you know. Warmouth. Ah, it stinks down here. There's something dead down here. Warmouth is not the fish that I'm trying to catch, but it is a cool fish. Oh. Large mouth, next cast. Dude, there's so many little large mouth in here. We fished a, a place earlier today. We went all over the place to get a few large mouth. There's like so many little ones in here. Oh, rooster tail, man, they love it. Yeah. Oh, that was a cool hit. I had something to swipe at it. It may have been the fish I was looking for. Hit really hard. Ah! Oh! Yes, I got him! I got it! You got him? Yes! I watched him come get it. All right, let's take a look at this fish. The mystery fish that we're after. Dude, third catch. I'm bringing over here in the shade. Boom, here it is. Look how, look at how chubby he is. He's been eating something good. This right here is a redfin pickerel. Uh, just think, I was just thinking two weeks ago, I was up in North, in, uh, in Michigan, catching pike. Well, this is a little cousin of it, and uh, he doesn't get very big, but he's super aggressive. And they got the same look to them, same, in the same family. If I can get the hook out, we'll take one more look. Check out this tiny little pickerel. And this is a normal size of redfin pickerel. They don't get real big, but it's such a cool fish. We fished here last year. I had no idea they were in there. Now it's a third cast. That lure makes a difference. That's what Blake said, use the a bright colored rooster tail. And boom. <laughs> All right, let's throw it back. Uh, I think we're gonna catch some more. That was like my third fish in a row. All right, back in the water he goes. Let's get back to some fish. Man, things are slimy. All of them in that family are so slimy. Oh, God. That was so cool. Oh, I had another one hit. Same spot. He came out of the same spot. It came off. There ain't much of water in here at all, but there's so much life in these little spots. I see something sitting right there. About to catch that guy. Ah, my spinner didn't work. Blake got him one too. Oh yeah, so aggressive how they 
How they get it. And if you put your finger in your mouth to take the uh, hook out, they're going to lay you open. Yeah. Got razors in there. Mm -hmm. There we go. What is that? I got something. And it's a war mouth. Yeah. Little fat guy. He barely got hooked. Little chubby little war mouth. Oh wow, it kind of goes on a little ways. Well, I caught one right there just there too. But get right here, John, and throw up that way and reel it back into that uh, little pocket right there. Oh, okay. it, ain't, it ain't six inches deep, but that's where uh, that's where I just had. Oh, come on, something hit it. Oh, oh, go. Oh, oh yeah, as a little one, he was right. Did he get back in the way? Yeah, he's right there. Telling you, it ain't, it ain't what, 12 inches deep? No, it's not even. Oh, yep, there he is. Oh, dude. That's another one. <laughs> little. Man, he hit that like he was a 10 pound fish. That is so cool. Sometimes it's the small things yeah. that make you smile. Look at how little that guy is, but he's just it's a aggressive. cool little fish. Yeah. He swallowed it. So Hooks too. Pinch down his little. I mean, that, that creek right there ain't eight inches deep. That, there shouldn't be anything living in that area. Like, do you think that's just dead water, stagnant? There's no flow going into it. These guys are thriving. They wouldn't have it any other way. Nope, they love it. There we go. He got him back in. Oh, that was one. Oh, there he is. I saw him shoot. Man, they're like on the bank. Yep, I saw him shoot out uh, at it and just like swipe it. Oh, that was a bigger one. That was another hit. I've gotten two hits right here. I gotta get one landed. Oh, eat it. I'm looking at one right now. I got my lure dangling in the water and he's sitting there at it. I'm gonna go back and get a different lure so I can throw in some of these other waters. This, this, this ain't, it ain't three, three inches deep right there and he's sitting right there. Got a little warm mouth. Or is that a throw warm mouth? Yeah. I'm gonna try to fish the, really close to the bank, just kind of jig this little lure. Cause that's where all the fish seem to be. They're super, super shallow. Man, this is a, it's tough getting casts in there. And this, there's, I've had like at least 10 hits from those little pickerels. And, um, so I know my buddy Conrad Explorer Sham Ventures catches these guys and I've caught them out in North Carolina. But if anybody else has any ways of catching them, they know their way that works really well. I'm gonna, the rooster tail was working, but there had so many hits, they're just hitting it and coming off. So I'm gonna go down to 164 ounce jig head. And I have this bread um, horsefly mule fishing lure. It's 1.3 inches long. I feel like this is my best chance to hook some of those littler ones. I got six pound uh, leader line on here and my six three rod. And um, it's almost too long in there, but let's get in there. I think we can get a couple more landed. And one of them, it looked like, a, like maybe 10 inches or so. Oh, what is that? Oh, crappie. No well, we'll add that to the count. He surprised me, just come up out of there and hit it. Little black crappie there. I got a bluegill right off the bank. He was a real shallow too. Another species or you have yeah, now another species. So bluegill, crappie, bass, warmouth, redfin. I may have caught it. If I started with this, it may have been better. I wonder. You may not have missed them any. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm just some of those. Oh, there we go. Oh, what is this? Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> He started diving on me. I'm used to those tiny little fish. I think was strong in here. Got 
amazing how this is such a thriving little ecosystem right here. I know. You wouldn't think that a thousand fish could live in here, but there is. There's a thousand fish that are over, you know, four to eight inches. Oh, I got a fish. <laughs> what? I was looking at my phone, dropped it down. Got a bluegill. And my tree. What? Damn darnation. Well, we're at another uh, high traffic area, right? Another another prime fishing spot. There can't be fish in there. I already see all kinds of little sunfish in there. It's, there's, this water doesn't even connect anything. Let's see what we can get out of here. Oh, what are they doing? They're lighter <laughs> mating. Lighter mating. I got some little bites. No, one of them's eating something, and the other one's trying to uh, get it. Oh, he took it off. We took off with it. I saw him. Well, that first place we fished had all kinds of fish. There were so many in there, and we hit a couple other spots. There's fish in here, but I can't get these to bite. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed today's video. And uh, I was wanting to get a few more of those breadfin pickerel. I think they're really cool fish and it's one of those things i didn't even know they were here like in this area but um it's and, and they're in the weirdest places like would you wouldn't even think to cast in spots like that so now i'm like we're casting every which way which that's what i like to do anyways but they, those things back there they were in like three inches of water where i didn't think anything would be and they were coming out like a rocket and having all kinds of little hits i wish you could see it on camera but it was all these fish that were coming out and nailing my uh spinnerbait or other lures but just not getting hooked up. So thanks for watching. Awesome time out here and just fishing on the side of the road, catching some awesome little fish in South Georgia.